A couple of days ago, a male came in from a small restaurant owner in, okay, maybe the location withheld. So, a male came in from a small restaurant owner who said she thinks she could no longer be able to manage her two years old uh, restaurant and uh, she needed to talk to someone. And I, am, I was wondering, sometimes I personally wonder why some restaurant owners, you know, badge into business within without proper planning and within a short while you see such persons also badge out of the same business and this time around with loads of complaints about things they feel they saw from outside they admired the business and they rushed right into the business only to rush out again complaining and of course you know the complaint is usually that everything isn't working but there was no planning so i think it is in the planning phase that you do proper study, do proper investigation. And that is the phase also where you know if this particular new restaurant business I want to go into or this particular new menu item I want to add will be viable in my location because it's not just about those who are starting their restaurant newly. It is also about those who are introducing new item on their menu because you can introduce a new item on your menu that has high cost implication and no one wants it so it's just about those who are going in those who are introducing new items on their menu there has to be some sort of planning there has to really be some sort, sort of serious planning not just anyhow planning because you have to look into a lot of factors that border around you know doing stuff like that i mean you don't come to the war front to begin to learn how to shoot any kind of gun at all and it's practically the same with every other business no business thrives by chance some actions some intentional efforts must have to be committed and so sometimes it's even a case of uh, trying to copy maybe close competition there are other restaurants around or maybe some restaurant that inspired your own idea you try to copy exactly what they are doing and you fail to sit back to ask yourself what and what and what makes these things that these people are doing work for them you just copy them and you try to be like them or try to be better than them by doing exactly what they are doing without checking to find out what and what make what they are doing work for them in their own location and then find how to streamline it in your own operation now here is the thing i think managing a restaurant successfully very successfully is actually a task that requires some level of innovation and uniqueness but the task is actually worth it. It is a task, but it's a task that actually worth it. Now, there's a clear difference between feasibility studies and viability studies. Whenever you want to introduce a new menu item, or whenever you want to launch a new outlet, or you are just entirely new into the restaurant space, you must carry out these two studies they are two different things and i'm going to come to that in a minute but you must carry them out two of them because these are the things that will determine rather if the location where you want to site your restaurant assuming you want to you know invest in a restaurant space newly is actually viable for your concept it is the feasibility studies that tells you that and then the viability studies now goes a, a, a longer way to tell you the level of business opportunity that is in this business. I've seen a lot of restaurants, they invest and at the end of the day, they don't get anything out of their investment. Maybe, just maybe, there was no comprehensive viability studies. So you make investments and you don't get anything in return of your investment. So you must carry out your feasibility studies and your viability studies before you either launch your restaurants or introduce a new menu item to know if it is viable in that location. But way beyond this also, you need to know or note one particular thing and what exactly that is. You must carry out those studies without bias. Because one challenge most of the restaurant owners who do this uh, run into is they try to carry out the uh, feasibility studies and viability studies and then tailor it down by force to you know what they want the business to do. You want the business to succeed, you want that business to be in that particular location and to be viable. So you force the business to be viable. You force the business, you force your own desire, your own enthusiasm into the business. So even when you are making your feasibility and you are seeing that the data that is coming out says that this business 
will not really survive maybe in that location or maybe the concept may not be viable in that location but because you really want to do this business you force the result to align with your own enthusiasm so you must be very very careful about this very factor now another thing you i want to talk about okay let's just talk about the feasibility studies now the feasibility studies of every restaurant before the action simply tells you how possible is this restaurant or how possible is this menu item in this very location so you need to just be very careful about that and another thing you need to know is that a particular concept or a particular menu item sales very viable makes a lot of profit for maybe your competitor does not mean that it will also do the same for you perhaps you're in the same location perhaps you're in different location but remember it is not a concept under which that person is operating that you are possibly operating so that there's a concept that inspired you maybe you traveled and you noticed a particular concept of a restaurant a particular thing that they do in their own business and you copied it it is still not a guarantee that it is going to work for you in your new location just as it works for them there the only thing now is that there may be need for you to apply some innovations there may be need for you to apply some differentiation so that it will suit your own environment now for feasibility studies there are a number of factors that you must be very very careful with and you must consider even if you don't consider every other factors these ones that we're going to list now are super super important and you must first of all go through them make sure you are not biased about the results that they produce because these are the things that tell that we tell you how possible first of all the business is before we we'll come to the viability studies to know what level of business opportunity lies in this very area maybe in this restaurant or in this new menu item number one of the feasibility factors that you must investigate you must pay attention to is first of all your availability i mean you already know the concept of the restaurant you want to start maybe it's a ghost kitchen you want to only collect and deliver to people your audience online so you run only online order collection and delivery system and then you have your own ghost kitchen now you already know the concepts the first feasibility study is that is to know if the concept is actually possible in that location where you want to run the business is your availability because every almost every concept in the restaurant space demand your availability it demands your time you don't want to start a business and in the first one month or two you already handed the business over to some other person to run remember no other person has the passion no other person has the dream exactly for that business as you have it you are the only one who know where you want to see that business in the next five ten years anybody who you are hiring will be working for you make his or her own impact because he knows in the end of the month or whatever depending on the contract that you will pay him or her so you are the one who have the passion and the vision for that business so you must be able to spend a reasonable amount of time in that business it's not something you just begin and you hand it over to somebody and then begin to pay attention to some other things so availability availability is the number one factor you must check in your feasibility study so that if and as at that time you want to start the business you don't have time for it then you may as well wait for some time before you go on the second factor you need to pay attention to as far as feasibility studies is important in every restaurant or even a new item you want to add to your menu is location saturation this is very 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 important you need to check this location where I want to invest in this business how many people run the same ghost kitchen in this location if there are two three four five persons who already run the same concept even if it's just a fast food how many fast food restaurants do we have in this very location so if you check and you have two three four five persons operating the same concept in that location I think it is safer for you not to do the same thing again in the same location because except if you have something that is so 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 different from what they are doing you intend to introduce in that business otherwise you can as well either look for another concept that is not common in that location bring it in or you seek a, a different location where you want to invest in the business definitely that very location where you already have five persons and there is nothing so special 
and different from what they are doing you want to do may not be viable or feasible at all for that business so you consider your availability you consider your location saturation how saturated the location is then we come down to budget of course if you are thinking of fine dining restaurant for instance you know is a kind of restaurant that requires a lot of money to start if you're looking at the fast food or you're looking at the fast casual that is a combination of fast food and then the casual or family casual restaurants if you're looking at the fast casual restaurants the budget may be okay uh, manageable to compare to the fine dining restaurant so you need to check how much do i have if i don't have enough money what is the possibility of getting maybe loans or maybe collecting some money on loan or also maybe from family friends or investors you need to check that because that is also what we require if this business is possible if it is a new menu item you want to add you need to also check the budget and know what will it cost me to bring in this menu item is this something that i can handle at this point in time or is my restaurant really struggling with a lot of other things and i need to pay attention to them that are still taking money out so you need to check the budget and know if it is something that you would want to then number four is your proximity to your vendors i mean the people who you are going to source some of the materials or most of the materials you're going to be using in your restaurant especially the food material so how close are you to those people does it require some other further logistics for you to be able to get to them or for them to be able to get to you you need to consider that so that if your site is very far away from the vendors then you should know that logistics also will come in a heavy um, amount of logistics will also come in from that angle so you need to take that into consideration possibly in line with number three which is your budget then you need to check some areas of branding in respect to number three again you see budget is almost everywhere because you will need to check if the restaurant i want to run or maybe the item i want to introduce on my menu am i going to introduce it as a regular item or as a premium item am i going to introduce it as a regular fast food restaurant or a premium fast food restaurant in which case the budgeting is still not the same so if in that area for instance introducing your fast food restaurant as a premium restaurant is the only thing that can differentiate it from let's say four five fast food restaurants that are already operational in that area but maybe they are just regular regular restaurants and not the premium kind of restaurants fast food restaurants and you think if you come in as a premium fast food restaurant you're going to catch a particular market then you need to check that then for number five you need to consider your offerings of focus menu items of focus if i am beginning a, let's say a mobile restaurant what are my items of focus the dishes i am talking about now do i bring in one two three four five to begin with if you have studied your audience and studied the location then you should know exactly the first two or the first three or the first four to focus on when you start and then continue to grow them as you move on you know the ones that are you know turning up faster and the ones that are turning up even very slow then you pay more attention to the ones that are turning on faster know which one has more profit and which one has less profit these are the things you need to check in your feasibility studies so that when you begin your business you'll be very decisive in what you're doing you already know that yes i am starting with two or three dishes in this restaurant i am starting with four or five dishes in this restaurant and i have a reason for that you need to know what you're doing and why you are doing exactly what you're doing now let us look at what happens in the viability these factors that we listed in the feasibility studies that you must do they are not all but they are just to help you to be able to at least start that there are other factors also you may need to consider now let us look at the viability studies the viability studies just like the feasibility the feasibility tells you how possible this business is how possible adding this menu item is then the viability studies now tells you what level of opportunity is in this business how profitable is this menu item when i add it very simple this tells you how possible this tells you how profitable is adding this or investing in this business how profitable it is so the analysis would have been done 
the forecasting of the profit that you're going to be making from that business or that menu item would have been done in your viability studies so that when you start nothing happens to you by chance now we are going to look at few factors you need to also consider when you finish your feasibility the factors you should consider in your viability before you go into the business and these two of course you must complete them first before writing your business plan assuming you are starting a new restaurant you must have completed this to check it is if the business is possible and profitable then you proceed with your writing of business plan and of course writing the business plan will no longer be difficult for you because of what you already did almost half of the work in finding making sure the business is possible and in making sure the business is profitable so writing the business plan now to have a direction of action will no longer be issue let us dive into the factors that you need to consider for your viability studies number one of the factors you need to consider for viability that is how profitable the business is is first of all your proximity to your audience your customers those you intend to serve how close are you to them that location how close it is to your audience if for instance you are located in a place where people may have to drive down to your restaurant and it is 10 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes okay 10 15 minutes drive to your location i think it is okay but if the larger number of your audience are a bit far away from where you are going to be citing your restaurant then i do not think it is something worth encouraging for you to go into it you may just need to find a way to position yourself again in a place where you'll be more visible and closer to your audience because competition is quite rising and i don't think anybody has special time to find you in a particular location except if there is something you do there that actually makes them you know see you as someone that is worth looking for no matter where you are located but anything outside that it is difficult for them to pass every other option they have to look for you in a particular place so you need to check your location it is also very important you need to check how close you are to your customers in your viability studies then number two is that you need to check the costs of the cost structure of the dishes you want to offer side by side with the prices because you don't want to get into a business whereby if you finish preparing a particular meal the cost of producing such meal will be very much higher than when you finish the sales so you need to check this particular meal in this area how much is it how do people buy it how much do they buy it then you consider the ingredients you may need to use the food materials you may need to use and check to see if if i finish purchasing all of this to get this quality of meal out for these people at this price that i'm going to make profit out of it so you need to consider the cost structure side by side the price then number four you need to consider your expenses versus your revenue because you don't want to get into a business where the general expenses you make in running a particular restaurant is more than the revenue you get or even very close to the revenue and the margin profit margin is very negligible you don't want to delve into such a business because it will be very difficult for you to scale it up so you need to check what is the total cost of running this business in a month for instance what are the possible cost structure expenses i'm going to make then what are the possible number of sales i'm going to make in a month maybe in our subsequent video we'll still come to tell you how you can calculate the audience in a particular place and project the number of sales that you can make and how much you are most likely to earn in the end of every month so you must consider that side by side the cost of running that restaurant the same thing exactly happens to the menu item you need to also check the total amount that it will cost you to bring in this menu item and the effect of bringing in this menu item in your entire business number four competition 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 i can continue to scream it competition this is very critical in the restaurant industry right now new people are trooping in those who are operational already are expanding their outlets so you need to consider competition check the number of people who are opposing you then consider it side by side your unique selling proposition it is called usp you need to check what are these things that will differentiate me from these people what exactly would make somebody leave these people and come to dine in my restaurant what will make them leave the places they used to go to the places they used to people they used to patronize to come and patronize me there has to be something 
or there have to be things that will differentiate you from others so very importantly you need to consider your competition and don't copy people directly you can look at what they are doing and integrate it in your business in your own way you mustn't copy them exactly because sometimes there are factors behind what is making it work for them that may not really work for you so competition is a very critical viability that you must check so that if the competition is too dense that you think you may not succeed there and there is nothing absolutely you're bringing in to the table that is going to make you different from others then you may consider changing your concept now still on competition still on checking the level of competition that exists in your market you need to also check that using the general competition analysis data or let's say acronym that says you consider your strengths in this business or what will be your strength when you start you consider your weaknesses what are the things that you don't have that will you know slow you down from fighting in this space where you're going in then you need to consider your opportunities the opportunities that you've seen in that space that you want to fill up because your business is supposed to be a solution provider it doesn't matter the industry it's supposed to be a solution provider there must be a group of people you've targeted with this concept and you want to provide solution to maybe a problem that you're, that you're having or a lack or something that is a challenge to them that they themselves may not even know but when your business begins to address it then they will be busy it will be easy for them to connect with your restaurant because they find that thing they are subconsciously looking for in your restaurant so you need to also check your threats there must be one or two things that pose a threat to your operation in that very location or concept you want to implement so you need to check your threats when you finish checking these four side by side with what others are doing then you know if there's a place for you in that particular business in that particular restaurant then number five you need to check your break even duration break even is a time when you would have offset all the bills would have offset the cost of running or starting that restaurant or you would have offset the cost of bringing in the menu item the little cost you incurred for you to be able to introduce that menu item or for you to be able to begin this business when you have solved all those costs and then you cannot say for sure that you have begun receiving some profit margin that is your break even point so how long will it take you to actually come to that point that's another thing you need to check because the faster the business grows the easier it is to get to the break-even point but if the business is sluggish is slow getting to the break-even point may be difficult and then is it something you want to delve into is it something you can sustain until it breaks even how long will it take because if you are for instance going to seek investors those people would want to know how long will it take you to break even this money want to give you how long will it take you to get it back to us how long will it take your business to stand so you need to check the break even duration and see if it is something that is worth going into every restaurant business is is a very viable space but at the same time if you don't plan to succeed then you buy you might have indirectly planned to fail and failing will be very easy for you if you don't plan very well before you start so these are the five basic factors that you need to consider in viability studies we have listed five for feasibility studies they are not the only factors i repeat they are not the only factors we have just given you some examples that will help you to conduct a thorough viability studies to know how profitable this menu item this new restaurant will be for you so i wouldn't want you to key into some of these mistakes that some restaurant owners already made and is currently affecting their businesses so these are the things that you need to pay close attention to if you're about to begin a new restaurant or you have a new menu item you want to introduce or maybe you just want to scale up want to open up a new outlet i encourage you to check our next video on how to scale a new restaurant you will find enough information in that video on how you can scale you can grow any new restaurant in any location at all check out the new video and once again i am Uncle Menu and this is RB Fame. It is our special interest to see you succeed in your restaurant endeavor. It doesn't matter the size, it doesn't matter the brand, it doesn't matter the capacity of your restaurant currently. We want to see you expand into new outlets, we want to see you expand your brand across places. 
and please do not forget to drop your questions and your comments right in the comment section that is the major way we will know how to serve you better how to provide the necessary materials and the information you need to be able to achieve this dream please your comments your questions put them in the comment section and do not forget to click on the subscription button and most importantly the bell because that is what will help to keep you ready for every delicate information we push out on this channel and you can give it a thumbs up i mean that will help us know that you like the video and we'll bring you more of that thank you